Can I tell you that God is dismantling and exposing some people, places, and things in your life? They have had their little five minutes of fame when it comes to you. They have sat back and talked about you. They have had all these reasons as to why you can't do what you do and how you do what you do, putting their mouths on you. God is saying he is exposing and dismantling these individuals, places, things. And it is now your turn. It's your turn to be healed. It's your turn to be happy. It's your turn to be loved. It's your turn to come up out of that pit. It's your turn for prosperity. It's now your turn. It's your turn, sweetheart. Long gone are the days for you to be in the back. First, you are first. You are first. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. You are no longer in the back anymore. God is turning this thing around on your behalf. Who am I talking to? He's saying in this season, he is exposing and dismantling some people. They've had the, their chance. They've been in the forefront. It's now your turn. It is now your turn. So y'all listen, before we get into this video, I just want to say I love y'all so much. Thank you to those of you that are new to the Walk Heavy channel. Listen, over here is all gas, no brakes. We're putting our foot on the enemy's neck and we're not letting up. For those of you that are returning, y'all know I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. And y'all, let me address this real quick because some people may get it confused. If you are new to the channel and those are the trolls that's coming through saying you've been called to do what? Listen, called to expose the enemy. Sometimes we don't know how to overcome because we don't even know what we're battling. How can you win the war if you don't even know what you're battling? So yes, I come on here and expose the people, places, and things that has tried to keep us down for so long, had us in shackles, had our feet, had our minds, had our hearts tied up. And we looking at these individuals because they hold titles in our life. Me, mom, papa, mama, daddy, ex, lover, husband, wife. We look at the individual and we get it confused and we allow them to keep us in these these spaces, these places, we allow them to do things to us because we're looking at the person. But y'all, let me tell you, it's now time to look at the spirit of these people. The devil can use whoever that's willing to be used, just like God can use whoever that's willing to be used. These individuals choose to sign up for darkness. And so you're looking at them and you're kind of confused because they hold these titles in your life. But can I tell you, God is exposing and dismantling some people. I don't care what title they hold in your life. It's your turn now. So again, if you're confused, listen, over here, we're putting our foot on the enemy's neck and we're not letting up. Because there was a season where you were backed into the corner. There was a season where you were silenced. There was a season where you may have been verbally abused. There was a season where they talked about you when you didn't have nothing. But God is bringing you up out of that. God is rearranging that thing. God is setting the table right now in the presence of your enemies. Right now. Right now. And that's why I talk about us putting our foot on the enemy's neck. Because he didn't let up when he had you cornered. They didn't let up when they felt like they had the victory. They didn't let up. So guess what? We're not letting up either. We're not letting up. It's your turn now. It's your turn to grow. It's your turn to be loved. It's your turn to come up out of that pit. It's your turn. So thank y'all for rocking with me. I appreciate every single one of you. Y'all, before we get into the message, for those of you that are new, I read off some index cards. I'm tired of saying it for those of you that's coming in the comment looking for some kind of response. You're not going to get it from me. I'm sorry. You're just not. So this is what I do. This is what I've been called to do. Let's start with the first one. Matthew 10, 14. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when you depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Let's read it again so that you can get it into your spirit, sweetheart. And whosoever shall not receive you nor hear your words when you depart out of that city, out of that house, out of that relationship, out of that job, out of that friendship, out of that situation, whatever it is, when you depart out of that, shake off the dust of your feet. 
In other words, do you, boo? You don't have the time or the day to try to convince anybody else of your love, anybody else to give you attention, anybody else to appreciate you. The scripture says, the scripture says, shake off the dust. Shake off the dust. You've done your part. You've done your part. God is now exposing and dismantling. It's your turn now, sweetheart. It's your turn now. So let's get into it, y'all. The first one. Tell them thank you. Some of you need to tell somebody thank you. Maybe you need to tell God thank you. You felt like you were down in the pit at the time. You felt like woe was me. You felt like, you know, everybody was coming against you. But somebody need to tell them thank you. Thank you for talking about me. Thank you for leaving me. Thank you for treating me like that because had you not, I would have never known who I was. I would have never known how strong I was. I would have never realized that I deserve better. You need to tell somebody thank you. Even if it's just God, tell them thank you. We don't realize how strong we are until we're tested, y'all. David didn't realize he could beat Goliath. He just took what he had in his hands. God put him in that situation so he can show him. Just like Moses. He kept telling Moses to go back, go back, go back. It was not only for his people to be free, but he was showing Moses what he had given him. What he put in his hands, his power, his strength. Somebody need to start saying thank you. Thank you, you ghosted me. Thank you, you did not want to appreciate me. Thank you that you fired me. That only pushed me to my better. That only showed me that I only need God. Thank you. Some of you are now walking into a season where you're truly about to be loved. You're about to be seen. You're about to be heard. You're about to receive the things that you always deserved. But you had to let go of these individuals that no longer served you, could not see you, could not appreciate you. Tell them thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all listen to me. I, I'm going to share this real quick. There was a season where I cried. I cried. I cried. I cried. I cried because I felt like God had humbled me in such a way and I just couldn't understand what else he wanted from me. And I remember just sitting on the bed, just telling God, like, I'm so humbled. You've humbled me so much that I can't, I don't have nothing else to give because he was still telling me to go to these places, go to these spaces, go to these people and be there and show up. And I had nothing. I had nothing. And I saw what they were doing to me. I saw how I was being treated. Yet he was telling me to continue to show up. And so I cried. I was, I'm beat 100 with y'all. I was upset because I didn't understand what else he wanted from me. What else do you want from me? I felt like I had been broke down to nothing. At the time, I had the resources to move out of certain environments, but he kept telling me to stay. And I just felt like I was being mistreated. I felt like I should have been there. All these different things running through my mind. But can I tell you, there was a season where things began to pick up and I was still crying. I was still crying. This is for somebody. It's time for you to wipe your face. It's time for you to cry your last tear. God had to tell me, that's it. Stop crying. Stop crying. Because we don't realize that even though we're in that same environment, that things are changing. We're changing. I had to realize that, yes, I was still there, but God was doing something on the inside. And we get upset with God because we're trying to figure out why haven't we moved? Why haven't we gotten this? And God is saying, I want you to do the inner work. I need for you to show up and do the inner work so that even if you're in that same environment, the people on the outside won't be able to touch you because you built your spirit man up. Somebody needs to hear this. Stop crying. Hold your head up. Regain your strength and allow God to teach you what he needs to teach you in this season. The environment may not change. Yes, you may be still there, but God is doing something within you. So tell them thank you. Thank you. It don't feel good, but I promise you when you come out on the other side, it's going to be good for you. I had to stop crying. Some things had changed. It really had changed, but I was still crying. Y'all listen to me. It's your turn now. 
God is turning some things around on your behalf and you got to change your perspective. You got to show up as that new version that he's trying to teach you how to be. Tell them thank you. Tell these individuals thank you. Even if you don't tell them verbally to their faces, tell them, you know, thank you in your spirit. Thank you for doing what you did because had you not, I would have never known who I was. I would have never known how strong I was. I would have never found my true person. Let's go to the next one. You're going to silence every doubter, hater, and naysayer. You're going to silence every doubter, hater, and naysayer. These people have literally, you all, took it upon themselves to talk about you, to keep you stagnant, to hate on you, to make you feel all these type of ways, and you don't realize just how strong you are. I don't know why God keep coming back to that, but you have to pick yourself up and realize that they don't have control over your life. You do. God tell you what to do. God shows you what to do. These individuals try to show up as if they're big and bad. They got it all together. They dress it up on the outside and make it look good. But when I tell you they're cowards, when I tell you they're weak, let me tell you something. You know how you know you got it going on? When a person that has everything come against you that has nothing. At least you think you don't in this physical realm. That's how you know you got it going on. They got their eyes fixated on you. They got all these things. They living in the house. They wearing the clothes. They driving the cars. They got the boot. All this stuff. Yet they got their eyes on you. Yet they hate you on you yet they talking about you you better know you got it going on sweetheart people don't realize just how much your spirit is wealthy your energy is wealth they out here buying all this different stuff getting in debt trying to keep up with the joneses and yet you wealthy a whole nother way and that's why they hate on you that's why they talk about you that's why they want to silence you it's your spirit it's your light but God is exposing and dismantling some people. It's no longer their turn. It's not. He's turning this thing around on your behalf. On your behalf. Let's go to the next one. You're in the driver's seat now. I just said that. You're in the driver's seat now. You have control, but you got to realize that God is in control. He's giving you the authority to be in the driver's seat, but he is the controller of it. And as long as you keep your eyes on him, as long as you're faithful to him, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Stop giving your power away, your attention away, your love away, your resources away to other people. You're in the driver's seat now. You have control now because you're following the Most High. You're allowing Him to do what He needs to do in you and through you. And because you're doing that, you're always going to be okay. Even if you don't see it at that moment, you are. You are. Listen, again, y'all, they have to move. They have to move. Now that you're in the driver's seat, they have to move. And if they don't, they're going to get ran over. I told y'all, it's all gas, no brakes. They're going to get ran over. We're not playing in this season. We're not playing with our time. We're not playing with our love. We're not playing with our, you know, talents. We're not playing about nothing. Nothing. Let's go to the next one, y'all. Everybody you encounter, you make an impression. Everybody you encounter or encounter you, you make an impression. People will never tell you how you've made them feel. They will never tell you you brightened up their day. They will never tell you that they've been inspired by you. They will never tell you that they truly love you and appreciate you. But you better know it for yourself. You've been chosen just to do that. You've been chosen to be a healer. You've been chosen to come on this earth, y'all, and to make things better. You don't have to be on this grand platform. You can reach the people that are around you. 
you can reach the people that are around you and please believe you make an impression and these people either reject you or they accept you that's why i told y'all on that scripture those of them that cannot hear you don't want to accept you listen brush the dust off your feet that's the scripture that is the scripture. Those of them that want to reject you, those of them that talked about you, those of them that mistreated you, and I don't care what title they hold in your life. It does not matter. It does not matter. Brush the dust off. Keep it moving. You make an impression everywhere you go. You're walking heavy. Your imprint is on this earth, whether you know it or not. Your imprint has been left in their hearts, whether you know it or not. Your imprint has been left on that job, whether you know it or not. Your imprint has been left on that family member, whether you know it or not. They will never tell you because it's you. Because it's you. It's something about a chosen one. And y'all listen, I don't throw that chosen word around because it sounds good. It is what it is. We go through a whole lot, but we're blessed. And you have to start knowing that you got to change your perspective about this thing. Yes, it gets hard, but you got to know you have authority. You got to change your perspective. Again, I told y'all, stop crying. Let go of that woe of me story. I know it's hard, y'all, but once you start realizing that you do have the power and that God is trying to show you that, you will already, you, you'll know. You'll come up just a little bit quicker just a little bit quicker so let's go to the last one when you leave your absence is felt just like you make an impression on people or when you leave oh they feel that that's like 10 times worse or 10 times more when you leave these people when you leave the environment when you depart from the city when you depart from the house it's felt the absence of your energy, the absence of your love, the absence of your attention, the absence of your resources, the absence of your encouraging words, it's felt. And some people don't realize it until you're gone, until it's too late. Let me tell you something. God is moving some things, some people, places out of your life. And you got to stop looking at it as a loss. It's a gain. That's why I said, tell them, thank you. It's a game for you. You feel like it's a loss right now, but it's not. Sometimes God don't bless us until we remove the trash. And y'all not calling them trash. But sometimes God is not going to allow his resources, his, you know, provision to be given to you because you want to give it to people that didn't work for it. People that don't deserve it. People that's being snakes and fakes behind your back. He's not going to do it. So he has to clear out the debris. You have to clear out these people, the deception, those that shouldn't be rocking with you and shouldn't be going with you at this time. They got to go. He's moving them. And now it's your turn to elevate, to be loved, to be healed, to grow. Wipe your face. Let your next tear be a tear of joy. Pick yourself up, hold your head up high and continue to keep pushing. Listen, if all you have is your dignity, baby, walk forth in that. If all you have is your dignity, walk forth in that. Pick yourself up and keep moving in that. Knowing that God got you. It's going to get better. The tables are turning. Even if you can't see it right now, it is. It happens inward, y'all, first. Let me bring that back up to you all. Because sometimes, y'all, it's easy for us to get upset and get mad because we feel like our situations aren't changing. But if you start actually going within, letting God do the work from the inside out, everything else is going to work out for you. I promise you, y'all. I lived it. I'm living it. I'm living it. And one day I will share my whole testimony. But I want y'all to know I've experienced some things. <laughs> I've experienced some things, y'all. I may look young, but I've experienced some things. And so God is doing, I want y'all to know God is doing an inside job. He's doing an inside job right now on you. But these individuals that's been connected to you, they got to go. It's no longer their turn. It's now your turn. The spotlight is on you. The light is on you. You've always had the light, but they tried to bury it. They tried to stop you. They tried to talk about you. They tried to make you feel confused, but not anymore. You're up. You've awakened. You know better, so guess what? You're doing better. 
Listen, I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. I'm so grateful for each and every single one of you, whether you've been rocking with me for a while or you're new to the channel. I still love each and every single one of y'all. Thank you for your PayPals, your cash apps, your super thanks, your thumbs up, your comments. Thank you for just doing you and being you. Being authentic. Allowing God to do what he needs to do in you and through you. Thank you for that. So y'all continue to hold your head up. Continue to move. Continue to, you know, walk boldly. It's your turn now. It's your turn now. So until next time, y'all be easy. Peace.